Hey everybody on Facebook, I just wanted to reach out to you again. This is David Brooks, the Cadillac Counselor. Um, just reaching out to you today, talking about some mood, some ways to deal with mood issues. Um, uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of things uh, in, in our community and I've been getting a whole lot of emails. Um, I got a, a message last night uh, from, a, uh, from a mother uh, who has uh, several children and she is trying to uh, she was trying to get some food because she wasn't able to uh, take her kids to the school to get the breakfast and the lunch because she has to go to work um, and so uh, it, it just was a a, 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 a a burden on my heart just to know that that there are people that are uh, really financially uh, struggling right now and and I just wanted to make sure that that we as people um, uh, around the city around the county and around the United States that we are trying to find different ways to help people even in this situation that we're in <clears throat> but this young lady I connected him to a guy uh, and I'm gonna talk about this guy for a second because I want you guys to reach out to him uh, his, his name is David Perez uh, David Perez, uh, I've known him for a while. Uh, I've watched, um, I've watched his his whole walk um, of, of of figuring out what he wants to do in his life, and uh, he's doing amazing things. So uh, I called up David uh, on yesterday last night, and I was just like, "Hey, man, I know this this family who needs some food. Um, can you help them out? Because I know that you have a big movement." Man, he jumped right in, called the lady, uh, set everything up, um, and I just think that's amazing um, because uh, in this time of the corona, we definitely need to um, figure out ways to help out um, people. So I wanted to give you guys contact information for him. Uh, his name, his email address is Dave, D-A-V-E, at the real David Perez.com. So again, the number, I mean, the email is Dave at the real David Perez dot com. And he said he's, he's looking for about um, one or two more volunteers. Um, they're going to start collecting um, non perishable and hygiene um, f uh, items for men and women. Um, they're going to start collecting this on Tuesday. So he's looking for some volunteers. If you are out there and you hear me and you want to uh, find a way to give back in this time, uh, definitely reach out to him, and he's a really good guy. Uh, he was in the uh, Frederick News Post the other day, so uh, just read about his uh, his story and and definitely try to give back. Okay, so uh, today uh, I want to talk about ways to uh, coping uh, a coping skill of getting out of a depressed mood. Um, what I've noticed in in uh, people wanting to help um, uh, is that is that whenever we get into situations like this in our country, um, one thing about Americans, we're really good at, at going back and helping out. And I'm gonna tell you, helping and serving your community is one of the best ways to get out of a depressed mood. Uh, a lot of times we have to get in a place where we can get outside of ourselves and stop looking at our problems. Um, a lot of times, no matter uh, even if we are don't have enough money, even though we're going through a lot of traumatic um, situations in our lives, we're depressed, we have anxiety, whatever it is that we have going on, sometimes the best remedy is just serving someone else outside of ourselves. Uh, a lot of times we, we, we want to self-consume ourselves. Uh, it's almost like licking one's wounds um, as we as we perpetuate the, the depression because we, cons we, we keep on perpetuating the negative thoughts and then as we're thinking, we continuously start thinking about how bad we really feel until we get to the point where we're so guilty about how we feel that we become guilt-ridden. Guilt and so one of the best ways to get out of a place of, get of guilt riddenness is to definitely start looking at better ways of coping with our, our thoughts and our mind. And the best way to do it is turn from looking inside and just turn to the outside. Find somebody in your life that you could definitely give, give them a phone call and just say hi. That's a way of serving. 
Uh, you can definitely get in touch with some of the nonprofits in the area and try to see how they're going about um, serving the community. Because I can tell you right now, um, the homeless population is really struggling right now. Um, for some of us that, that live in houses um, uh, and we have vehicles and we have cars, uh, uh, we are pretty much safe to be able to isolate ourselves in the quarantine. But whenever we live on the, when people live on the streets, it's very difficult to uh, to isolate yourself because you're always living around other people. So um, definitely be be uh, looking out for for homeless people right now, um, and that's a perfect way of being able to give back. Um, you can um, buy buy gallon bags. Um, fill it up with with non-perishable uh, items, um, um, even some hygiene stuff. Stay away from soaps because once you put soap inside of a bag, um, sometimes the perfume just ruins everything in the bag. So, um, but you can just drive around. You can drop it off. You don't even have to get in within six feet of people. Um, people can do that with their families. I mean, there's a lot of things that we can do while being isolated or quarantining ourselves. Um, because we can just get in the car, we can go find people, uh, go leave, leave other people's house just to cheer them up. Um, there's many ways that you can go about coping with depression. And I will tell you the best way is just stop looking at your own problems and start looking at other people's problems. Because I'm, when you start to look at other people's problems, you will notice that, that, that sometimes your problem is not as big as you think. Or sometimes what you're experiencing and what you're seeing is is, is a lot of fear. It's fear-based or anxiety-based. So uh, I just want you guys just to reach out and uh, definitely uh, try to find somebody that you can help, um, somebody that you can serve. Because if you serve one person, that might be the one person in your life whenever this is all over because somebody cared about them. So... Uh, definitely uh, reach out to me if you got any questions. Uh, I know people have been reaching out uh, to me about different questions about mental health, substance abuse issues, um, books to read, uh, anything like that. Um, uh, send me a message. If I can't answer it, I can definitely get somebody in touch with you to answer it, okay? Uh, I apologize for the beeping behind me. I got to change the, um, the battery. And, uh, and, and I want everybody, I mean, this is Sunday. Uh, I want you guys to pray for my Astros. You know what I mean? Um, this is why I got the shirt on. Uh, I want you to pray for them, um, because, uh, I, I think they sinned and, um, and, and because they sinned, they need to, uh, um, be forgiven. And so I would ask you guys to, uh, forgive the Astros, uh, and, and let's move on. Um, whenever the season comes on, you know, so uh, I always keep my Astros stuff. I've been an Astros fan since I was a kid and I'm not changing it now. So uh, I love the old Astros. Uh, I'm disappointed with the new ones, but I believe that the future Astros will bring it back just as much. So uh, Astro fans out there, uh, trust me, we're coming back. Uh, Washington fans, um, I give you your props. You played a really good, good series this time. So um, make sure I know, um, make sure that we definitely give back guys, um, because it will definitely help with your depression. All right. So I'm signing out. This is David Brooks, the Cadillac counselor, just reaching out to you. I hope you have a good Sunday. Uh, and it doesn't look like we're in a better situation now than we were last week. So I'm just waiting on information. Any of my clients, uh, I don't think that I'll be going back into the office on next week. So definitely get in touch with me so that we could do a virtual appointment. Okay. All right. Take it easy guys from the Cadillac council.